Hey guys, yeah, so we were scouting around the map and we found what looks to be like a floating Oxum's gas station right here. You can actually see the tunnel goes down and touches the top of this harbor. I thought this was pretty cool. I've never ever seen anything like this. You can actually go up on here, but you have to be careful not to fall through. And all the main spawns were still left here. We've got crates, food bins, and mill crates. So imagine you can make like a pretty OP spot to snipe people down on the harbor from here. This would probably be considered kind of a bug here, but hey, it spawned in like this. Pretty interesting. So just after running inland toward Junkyard and these other rad towns, we came across this intensely armored looking bunker base. Now I can't imagine how this thing would be more secure than 20C4. Don't have rockets? I think 20C4 should be able to do it though. Ooh, we hear an auto turret. Yeah, there's a cage here. Probably an auto turret in there. Most definitely. Got a SAR in the auto turret. I feel like we should be able to see for some of these foundations out and sneak past this furnace. Let's hope this furnace doesn't get destroyed. And what I was seeing here, you can actually see straight through the flooring in this base. There's some small boxes. There's TC. And there's a barbecue. Stone here on an armored. Are we gonna have to blast these stairs out? Why is this staying up? Yeah, all right, we're gonna actually have to blast these stairs out. I did not know that. That's super unfortunate, but we'll keep going on both of these. All right, that was much more expensive than I thought. Looks like we might be in though. Got a garage door and I feel like this hermit wall could be leading straight to the loot. Um, let's just go ahead and go for it. I mean, I don't have rockets for this garage. All right, miscalculated there, it's 100 health left. I need to hop out of here and bring back like a few satchels or a rocket. Okay, I scraped together some satchel charges. Let's make sure we're not getting countered here and hop right back in. We've got boxes on shelves and there's the TC. Kind of saw that through the floor though. And it's not even locked. Go ahead and seal this off. All right, we're totally safe there. Oh, we can't scoot past this TC. Let's go ahead and check TC. 36k sulfur, 340 explosives though, plus the 10k sulfur ore. 
So about this much sulfur and GP, that's gonna make up for taking out all these walls and we're gonna profit about 340 explosives. You can check the rest of these boxes. And we've got an MGL. You could empty these boxes out and jump in there with that. Okay, bunch of weapons in there. Some AKs. Looks to be not the richest base. Probably gonna be a solo build. Oh, there's 12 rockets in the barbecue, boys. Plus about 600 explosive ammo. I was not expecting anything to be in the barbecue. Let's check these others. More explosive ammo, tech trash. Some satchels. Components. <laughs> And yeah, all right, well he was keeping most of his stuff in the BBQ. Looks like a duo actually, but yeah, at least we profited off this thing. Okay, so I was checking into raiding some other bases since that raid actually came up to be pretty short and I want to get a nice full length video out for you guys. We've got a base built into three rocks, I think here. Okay, this thing's actually seeming to be pretty secure. He's got sheet metal triangle ceilings and a ton of them. But the front door looks like it'd be definitely the best bet on this one, or at least over here near the front door. We could probably take this half wall. I always like to try my luck with some stone. Okay, it's still stone. Maybe bypassed like three doors there. But it looks like it's gonna actually be sealed off. We'll go straight through this sheet metal. Okay, this one's left open. Let's just bypass everything and keep going straight in. Um, all right, it's completely sheet metal here in the core. We've got a counter. Let's just go ahead and keep going in. Getting some hit markers on this guy. Let's just keep going in too. Oof, I think we might have killed him and we're burning sleepers up. All right, let's hope he's still in there. We had brought just enough to raid that thing. I think I got straight into the loot room when I died. I think he sealed it off. He probably got TC, bro. That's so unfortunate. Here's my body, straight in the foundation. We simply don't have enough, man. Man, that really blows it up for sure that MGO would take him out.
and we didn't bring enough ammo back to get back in here. But nice going, dude. I'm wondering how much sulfur was actually in there. Luckily, I only brought, I think, like 16 C4 to this raid. So not the best start to the wipe. We profited a bit from the other base, put some of that away, but just lost a good chunk of it. Hopefully I can get lucky for the rest of the wipe.